we have to work out the force of F1 and F2 using a construction. So remember your construction is all about protractor and ruler. But what I would do first guys, and it's very important, is you need to redraw this in a more simplified way. So the center of this entire question is gonna be over here. So I'm gonna make a little dot over here. Now what forces are acting on that point? Well, there's the downwards force of this 400 Newton, that's gravity going down, that's 400 Newtons. Then, I want you guys to look at this very, very carefully. If you look closely at this pole, what is that pole doing to that point? Is it pulling or is it pushing? Look at how the string is going around it like that. So if that pole was not there, then this entire object would swing that way. So that pole is keeping the 400 away. Can you see that? That pole is pushing it in that direction. So the pole, which is F2, is actually going to go in this direction, okay? It's very important that you see that. And it's a 20 degree angle. Now, look at this piece of string over here. What is that doing to this point? Well, that string is going to keep the object from moving away, so it's keeping it going to the left. So it's going to go in that direction. You can't say that it's also going in this direction because then the object would move to the right. The arrows would not balance out. And that angle is 45 degrees. And so there we go. Now we can easily go ahead and do our scale drawing. But remember we need a scale. So they're saying 400 Newtons. So we could probably say that one centimeter is 40 Newtons because then our line only has to be 10 centimeters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the 400. So I'm gonna start somewhere over here and I'm gonna draw a 10 centimeter line going down because that'll represent 400 Newtons. And so there you can see I've drawn a 10 centimeter line. Now the next part I'm gonna do is F Two, which is going to go off at 20 degrees and so I'm going to measure 20 degrees like that because I can see that it's measured 20 upwards but I don't know how long the line is but that's okay I'm just going to draw a pretty long line see so I'm just going to draw a long line I'm sure that'll be enough now I know that the only force that I have to still do is F1 and F1 goes at 45 degrees and it must end up over here so for example, you might think that it's gonna start over here, and then when you measure 45 degrees, it does that. Well, that's not good enough because it's supposed to end up at the top here. Then you might choose this one and you go 45 degrees and it goes too high. So you need to just try a few different points. But you can get pretty close by just taking your protractor and then keeping your eye on the 45 degree mark, which is over here. Okay, so keep an eye on that point and we can try eyeball it. So I'm going to move somewhere down, 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 oh, probably around there. Can you see that? Maybe a little higher, somewhere around there. So now what we can do is take our ruler and make sure that it will work. And that actually works perfectly. Let me show you why. I'm putting my ruler at that point. I'm going through 45 degrees. Can you see here it says 40 and then there's a 5 over there. So I'm going through the 45 and then it goes through this point perfectly. And so there we go, I've connected it all up. And so my triangle actually stops over here, so we don't need this piece. And so we must remember that this is the 400 Newton. This was F1 and this was F2. So now the question says determine F1 and F2 so we can easily do that by measuring the lengths using our ruler. So if I look at F1, it appears to be about, now as I said in previous questions, that this ruler isn't the best that I'm using, but it looks to be around 10.6. But now I know that the proper answer is supposed to be more about 10.3, or around 10.4. So you should look for about 10.3 centimeters, 
or somewhere around 10,4 centimeters. I must have gone off a little bit. And remember that that's not the final answer because you'd have to multiply by 40. So if it was 10,3 and you multiply that by 40, then that's going to be about 412 newtons. And if you got 10,4, and it's about 416. So try to get as close to that as you can. Um, of course, you are going to make a few mistakes. You, the, the protractor and ruler method, you can get a little bit off, but the teachers do understand that, and you don't have to get it absolutely perfect. And that was for F1. Now for F2, then when I measure the length of F2, so I took my ruler and I measured F2, I got about 7 point nine centimeters so if you multiply that by 40 because of the scale you get about 316 newtons now yours might be a little bit different to mine which is absolutely fine the perfect answer is 312 that is like the correct mathematical way so in summary f1 is approximately 400 and somewhere between 412 and 416 newtons and f2 is somewhere between probably 300 sorry 310 and 314 so try get somewhere close to that